Let's see how to solve this integral using Laplace transform. So what we do is first of all calculate the Laplace of this portion or you can uh, solve for the entire portion. How? You write here Laplace of e power minus t sine of t divided by t. Either you solve for this or you can just calculate the Laplace for sine t by t. Okay. So both of them I am just uh, doing for sine t by c t only. So what we do Laplace of sine t divided by t. Okay. Fine. Now in LHS we use the definition which gives us 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt and in RHS we can use the formula. Now how to use the formula? First calculate Laplace of sin t which is a divided by s square plus a square. A here is 1 so 1 divided by s square plus 1 square. Now we will use the formula for division by t. So that says that if this is f dash s so Laplace of sin t divided by t will give you s to infinity this which is 1 upon s square plus 1 integrate this with respect to s. So you will get 1 upon s square plus 1 integration you all know is tan inverse of s from s to infinity if you put tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse s tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s now you know tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2 so from here you are getting cot inverse s okay fine now this is what we got from the formula so just write here cot inverse s. So this is also cot inverse s. Now look at this carefully. What we need? We need e power minus t only. We don't want this s. So just put s equals to 1. So while you put x s equals to 1 you will get 0 to infinity. e power minus t sin t divided by t dt you are putting s equals to 1 so you will have to put that on both the sides so this is cot inverse 1 sorry cot inverse 1 you all know is pi by 4 so finally you have got 0 to infinity e power minus t sin t divided by t dt equals to pi by 4 now there is one more thing which I was talking about earlier that you would have solved for this complete also. Okay. So Laplace of uh, sin t by t we have already found which came out to be uh, cot inverse s. Now we know uh, one uh, first shift theorem which says that if Laplace of f of t is something like this then Laplace of e power at times f of t that is just replace this s by s minus a a from here okay so we have got Laplace of sin t divided by t what that came out to be uh, that came out to be cot inverse of s so Laplace of uh, e power at now at so e power minus t sin t divided by t that will come out to be look carefully here we have a as minus 1 so cot inverse replace s by s minus a and a itself is minus 1 so minus minus plus so cot inverse s plus 1 is what you will be getting so this we have found again we will do the same thing we will say this is uh, the alternate method Laplace of 
ई पावर माइनस टी साइन टी बाय टी वी हैव फाउंड बाय फॉर्मूला वी आर गेटिंग कॉट इनवर्स एस प्लस वन नाउ वी विल यूज द डेफिनेशन एल राइट दिस एज जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ई पावर माइनस एस टी इन टू दिस थिंग विच इज द एफ ऑफ टी डी टी दिस इक्वल्स टू कॉट इनवर्स एस प्लस वन नाउ वट आई विल से दैट आई वॉन्ट जस्ट द दिस थिंग आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस थिंग जस्ट पुट एस इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वेन यू पुट एस इक्वल्स टू जीरो your lhs will uh, sorry lhs will get simplified to e power minus t sin t by t dt and in rhs because you have put s equals to 0 in lhs so put that in rhs also which we all know cot inverse 1 is pi by 4 so either you calculate laplace for this complete thing or just for sin t by t and uh, uh, replace uh, s by 1 or this this was the alternate one either calculate laplace for complete thing and put s equals to 0 so to get this integral value as pi by 4 in both the cases because the value of the integral is there uh, the same so i hope you enjoyed this video because laplace made our life easier to calculate this type of integral which was not easy at all uh, before we uh, New the Laplace transform. The Laplace transform is same as a different uh, der differentiation and integration. It's just an operator where we need to remember some basic formula, and uh, we are all set to solve this type of question.